Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this woolly mammoth, which was another request. When crocheted using four ply crochet cotton, this one, the size is 10 centimeters by 9 centimeters or 4 inches by 3.5 inches. When crocheted using two ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimeter hook, this one, the size is 9 cm by 8 cm or 3.5 inches by 3.25 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got light and dark brown, tan, pink for the ears, white for the eyes and cream for the tusks and the toenails. I've got a 1.5 mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and I've got black to embroider on the dot on the eyes. Now I'm going to start at the top of the body here so I've got my lighter brown and I start with three chain. For row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll have two single crochet. For row two I start with one chain and turn my work and I work two single crochet into each stitch and I'll have four stitches. So two single crochet into each stitch. For row three I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch so into each of the next two stitches and then two single crochet into the last stitch And I've got six stitches. For row four I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have eight stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch and we'll have eight stitches.
for row 7 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have ten stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our ten stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 16 stitches.
Now rows 13 to 18 have worked the same as row 12. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'm starting on row 14, so I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 15 is one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of my 16 stitches. And row 16 is one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. For row 17 is the same, one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And row 18, one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
for bow 19, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 20, we start with three chain, we work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. And then put the yarn around the hook and we put the hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And that's our joined double crochet. We work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. Into the third last stitch we work one half double crochet and then we're going to work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the body done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and work one single crochet into the next stitch. Then we work two chain and work a single crochet into the following stitch. And then work three chain and work a single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that around. Then we work two chain, a single crochet into the next stitch, three chain, a single crochet into the following stitch. That's just going to give it a bit of a shaggy look like that. So two chain, a single crochet into the next stitch, three chain and a single crochet into the following stitch. And I'm going to repeat that right around. So I'll continue working around the body and I'll be back when I get towards the end of my neatening row.
At the end of the row you work your last chain and then slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet and fasten off. And there's the body done. I'll start on this head and trunk piece now. So I've got my tan and I start with four chain. For row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have three stitches. For row two I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of my three stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have three stitches. For row four I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have seven stitches. So after the two single crochet in the first one single crochet into each stitch to the last and then two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 7 stitches. For our weight we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then 
one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So we've worked two single crochet into the first stitch then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For bow 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So after our first join single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches.
For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. and then work two chain. We're just starting the trunk part now. For row 21 we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So just in there two single crochet. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then work one single crochet into each remaining stitch. And then work six chain. For row 23 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the following three chain. So miss the first and then one single crochet into each of the next three. Then work a joined single crochet over the last two chain and then slip stitch into the side of row 21. So that's just up a couple of rows, just about there. Just slip stitch in the side. And that's the head and trunk part done, except for a neatening row. Now we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around till we get to the tip of the trunk 
and then I'm going to work the tip of the trunk as part of the neatening row. So for a slip stitch put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. Just find a suitable place to put your hook. I'm working a slip stitch this time because I don't want the work to get too much bigger. Now I'll continue working a slip stitch into each stitch until I get close to the end of the trunk and I'll be back. Now I'm just back round to the trunk, the end of the trunk, so I slip stitch into the tip of the trunk. Then I work two chain, one half double crochet into that same place, two chain, slip stitch into that same stitch at the tip of the trunk, then work two chain, a half double crochet into that same stitch, two chain and then slip stitch into that same stitch and then just work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the join where the trunk starts. And fasten off. And that's the trunk and the head part done. I'll just weave in these ends and then I'll be back with my tan again and we'll work these two sections at the side of the head. Now for this right side of the trunk I join my tan cotton about eight stitches down from the top of the head. So just in there, I work one single crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. Two treble into the next stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook through ne the next two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook through the following two loops. We need one more treble in that same stitch. And then a treble into the next stitch and fasten off. Now for the left side we're going to start join our yarn across from the end of the right side. So just across from there.
and work for Chine. Work one treble in the same stitch as a chain. Two treble into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. A single crochet into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next one and fasten off. And that's that section finished. Now I'll start on the legs now. They both work the same. I've got the same colour, my tan, as I use for the trunk. And I start with six chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have five stitches. For bow two, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And work one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For bow three, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For bow five, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For bow six, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For bow seven, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For bow eight, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And that's the first leg done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch down the side
and I'll work two single crochet into this corner stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. And then I'll work two single crochet into the corner stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch up the side. Two single crochet into the corner stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch along the top. And then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first leg done. I'll just have to trim away that little bit from the tail. Now the second legs work the same. I start with six chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 4 stitches. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4 I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of my three stitches. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row seven, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And for row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 3 stitches. For 
for the neatening row I start with one chain and I work one single crochet into each stitch down the sides along the bottom and the top and into the corner stitches I work two single crochet. So I'll finish off this leg and I'll be back with my white and I'll work the eyes and there's the two legs complete. For the eyes they both work the same. I've got my white and I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put the hook on my yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then take the longer end over the short end. Then I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. I work one chain and into my circle I work one single crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet and one half double crochet. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and ease it in and I work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So I put the hook into the first stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And that's the first eye done. The second eye has worked the same. Make a magic loop. Work one chain, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet and a half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the second eye done. For these tusks, they both work the same too. I've got my cream and I work 18 chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. That was two half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches
one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And one double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first tusk done. The second tusk has worked the same and just turned over. I weave the ends in the other way. So we start with 18 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then two half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one double crochet into the last stitch. and fasten off. And that's our second tusk. Now for our toenails, I'm using the cream and I start with four chain.
I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch, one half double crochet and one slip stitch into each remaining chain. So I miss the first, work a slip stitch, a half double crochet and a slip stitch into each remaining chain. So a slip stitch, a half double crochet and a slip stitch and the same into my last chain, one slip stitch, one half double crochet and a slip stitch. These are a little bit fiddly. And fasten off. And that's the first toenail done. And the second ones work the same. Start with four chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch, one half double crochet and one slip stitch in the next. And repeat that twice more. One slip stitch, one half double crochet and a slip stitch into the next chain. And one slip stitch, one half double crochet and one slip stitch into the last chain. and fasten off. And that's the second toe now. Now I'll be back with my pink and we'll work the inner ears. Now using my pink I work five chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And then I work 2 chain, so I've got 4 stitches and 2 chain. For row 2, I miss the first chain, I work one single crochet in the remaining chain and one single crochet into each of our stitches to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into that last stitch. We've got six stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work two chain. For row four, we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For bow five, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. For bow 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each of our remaining stitches. For bow 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches one single crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and a joined single crochet over the next 2 stitches and then work 2 chain. For row, row 8 we work 1 slip stitch in the second chain from the hook then work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 9 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both of our stitches and fasten off. And that's the first ear done. The other ears work the same but it will face the other way so I'll weave in the ends on the other side. So we start with 5 chain We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And then we work two chain. For row 2 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in the second chain work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. And work two chain. For row four, we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the next 6 stitches. For row 6 we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have seven stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And a joined single crochet over the following 2 stitches. and then work 2 chain. For row 8 work 1 slip stitch in the 2nd chain from the hook. Work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. And for row 9, start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both of our stitches. And fasten off. And that's the second inner ear done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my light brown to work this part around the ears and I'll also have my dark brown to work this top knot. Now here's the two ears. For this left ear, this one here, I join my light, lighter brown cotton three stitches up from this first point. So in here and I work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And then 
I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch around to the end of the bend so just to that stitch there one single crochet and fasten off and that's the left ear, ear finished for the right ear we join just at the beginning of row one so that stitch there and start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch round to about five stitches before this first point and then work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches and fasten off now for this top knot I've got my dark brown and I make a magic loop I start with one chain I work one single crochet into the circle and then work three chain I miss the first chain and slip stitch into each of the remaining two chain I work two chain and slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and I repeat that five more times so one single crochet into the circle work three chain Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain and then work two chain and work a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and 
and then repeat that one four more times. So a single crochet into my circle and work three chain. This is the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining two chain. Work two chain and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then work a single crochet into the circle, three chain, miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining two chain. and work two chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then work a single crochet into the circle. Then work three chain, this is the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Two chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then we need one more, so work a single crochet into the circle, three chain, miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain work two chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook Pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet and fasten off. And that's the top knot done. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. I've got the body, the head and trunk section, two tusks, two ears, two toenails, the two legs, two eyes and the top knot. The first things I'll do is embroider these two black dots on the eyes and I'll attach the toenails to the legs, just that bottom part there. The little curvy pieces go to the top. Next I'll attach the eyes to the head there, just about there, and I'll attach the legs to the body in there. Now the next things I'll do is embroider these markings on the trunk and I'll attach the ears they go in about there Next we attach the tusks, they go just in under that little bit there on each side, just in like that. 
The next thing we do is attach this section to the body section. As even as possible, probably about there. And the last thing I do is attach the top knot just to the top of the head there. And there's the finished woolly mammoth. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the de details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.